Welcome back to the channel guys, Simply Pops here, and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the M3 MacBook Pro. So that's for the regular M3 and the M3 Pro. What I have in front of me is the Space Black variant, and i just been looking at it, setting everything up, and if you would have told me that this is Space Gray, I would definitely believe you. So uh, when you hear the term Space Black, you think of black like this mouse or black like this ps5 controller but instead we got like a very darker but anyway i'm gonna show you guys how all of the macbook pros look like side by side so i have the space gray space black and unfortunately i didn't pick up the silver but i have my current m1 max in silver and it looks exactly the same now if you follow me on instagram if you follow me on instagram and on tiktok you already saw the unboxing of the space black color right now i gotta unbox the space gray which i'm gonna do so right now so anything you pick up from apple right now in the time of this recording the apple logo changed to celebrate the holiday season so it's a nice little gift wrap on the apple logo but inside, we have the Space Gray variant. And right away, the box is very identical to the Space Black M3 Pro. So this is the Space Black, and this is the M3 uh, model. You got the whopping eight gigabytes of RAM, but you have 512 gigabytes of SSD storage. And this is starting at $1,600. I think for most people, I think a lot of people are gonna get this one. You have all of the MacBook Pro features, but in the slower chipset, of course, you have your MagSafe, which is an upgrade compared to just the USB-C charging. And of course, you have your 30 watt power adapter. Oh, you're getting black Apple stickers. Okay, really, really good Apple. Okay. And man, it looks so similar to the Space Black, but this is how it is. And just a side-by-side -side comparison to the Space Black, already getting fingerprints already on there. You guys can see that honestly this look like it's silver and this look like it's space gray but very quickly you guys are gonna see that the silver is gonna look the lightest so we only have two USB C's on the side you have your MagSafe your headphone jack but on the other side you just have your HDMI and your SD card slot which is nice so this is an upgrade compared to that 13 inch model I'm happy that Apple kill that off and replace with this because I think this is gonna be a better value even though you can pick up an M2 or M1 Pro for that matter for the same price as this, but to be a new machine and to get something from Apple, I think this is a good, this is a nice step. But yeah, as Simply Pause fashion, I am gonna take these things outside, put it on the turnable table, compare it to the silver. I'm gonna help you guys decide which color you should go with. Let's begin. <laughs>
and M3 Pro MacBook Pro 14 inch space gray versus space black versus silver let me know down in the comments down below which color would you go with all right so my personal ranking i'll get the space black because it's a new color once you see somebody with it you know they got the new color although it looks similar to space gray it's still a new color and it looks pretty clean the fingerprints are a little sus it's something i'm at to test it out and see if it's going to attract even more fingerprints than what it is and second place, silver. Silver is such a classic color. When you think of MacBook, you think of the silver color. Space gray. The space black should have replaced the space gray, in my opinion. In terms of the iMac M3, unfortunately, all the colors are exactly the same. So you guys could just watch the video right here on the side. It doesn't make sense for me to even bother to even make a separate video on it. So yeah, make sure you guys watch that video. And until next time, I hope you all have a simple day. This is the weirdest thing ever. This is the weirdest thing ever. This is a M3, but it's running Mac OS Ventura, while the M3 Pro is running Sonoma. So, uh, why is it running Ventura?